Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you how to use and paste your oil paint Photoshop action. So before we get started, let's view a few examples. This is a pretty straightforward action, you just need to open your image and run the action. You get something like this. The action tries to simulate the paste effect, which is otherwise the very thick oil paint uh, technique. We'll view a few more examples. The action also creates 20 predefined color presets, which you can just enable by a single click, just by turning them on. And you can also mix and match different effects to create unique compositions. We'll go into details when we run the action and have a look at the final layers and folders. Now you can also combine the action, this effect with one of my other actions. Like here I'll be showing you uh, the combination with the chromart action. We'll first run the chromart on this image and it'll get something like this. This is the final result of the chroma art Photoshop action. And then on this result, you can run this impaste to oil paint Photoshop action to get something like this. The links to my other actions can be found in the profile page. This is a darker version of the image generated via the chroma art Photoshop action over which the paste to oil paint action is applied. On this image, we'll be using one of my another action, the splash art to Photoshop action to get something like this. And on top of this, we'll be applying the paste to oil paint Photoshop action to get something like this. Here are a few more examples. One thing to note is that this action uses the Photoshop oil paint filter. So you need to have a compatible version of Photoshop which has the oil paint filter for this action to work. So before you get this action, make sure you have Photoshop of version CS6. The oil paint was first introduced in the Photoshop CS6 version and then uh, Photoshop CC, which is the 2013 version, because in 2014 CC, this oil paint filter was decommissioned. And uh, so if you have 2014 CC, this action will not work. And then 2015 also, uh, in 2015 also, this action is missing. And this action was again reintroduced in 2015.1 update. So if you have any Photoshop uh, of version 2015.1 and above, so this will work. This works again with Photoshop 2015.5 and the recent one 2017. So again, one thing to note over here is that if you also have a compatible version of Photoshop, it might happen that uh, your Photoshop, uh, your oil paint uh, filter is visible for some reason. It can be hardware issues or some other software issues show so you need to make sure that the oil pin filter is enabled so i'll give all possible troubleshoot scenarios and they can be found in the item description page
This action also works with uh, various image sizes from ranging around uh, 1000. It also works fine with uh, images having uh, dimensions of about 1700 to uh, 1800 pixels. Uh, it works best with images around 2000, 1500. And it also scales up to, you can also use this effect with images of around 3500 pixels. Okay, so we are done with the examples and let's proceed with loading up the action. So here's a quick reference uh, where to find the oil pin filter and have a look and see if it's enabled or disabled for CC and CS6. It will be under the filters over here, but I'm using 2017 version, CC 2017. So here, as you can see here, it's under the stylized uh, menu now. So oil paint is enabled for me. So you also need to check you have this filter and you have it enabled, not grayed out. Okay, so let's load our image. Well, now there are a few things we need to check go to this image mode and check your image is in rgb color mode and also 8 bits per channel is selected now click this flyout list and select panel options and make sure you use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy layers and groups both of them are checked and you also need to check if your image is a background locked layer like if you did some other operations like cropping or if you did uh, some any other adjustments and your layer is something like this layer zero or anything else and not a background lock layer you need to turn it to a background lock layer otherwise the action will not work properly to do that go to layer new background from layer you can see it's turned into a background lock layer okay now regarding image size this action works fine with images having height or width around 1700 1800 pixels up to 3500 pixels and it works fine in resolutions of 72 to 300 dpi anything will do okay now let's uh, load up the action to do that go to window and actions you see it has brought up the actions panel and click this flyout list and select load actions from here we'll select the base to oil paint photoshop action which comes with the download package select this one and click load so here the action has been loaded and we have two actions one is for photoshop cs6 and cc 2013 and the second one is for photoshop cc 15 point one and above and 2017 cc 2017 now next load up the brush to do that select this brush tool click this drop down list click this gear icon and select load brushes now select in paste oil paint brushes and click load Next, we need to load up the patterns, click edit, presets, preset manager, click this drop down menu and select patterns. Now click load, select the impest oil pin patterns which comes in the download package and click load. Now it's pretty straightforward, you just need to, okay, well before we run the action, we need to check one more thing. Click this brush tool and make sure opacity is 100% and flow is 100%. Both of these parameters must be set to 100% for the action to work properly. Okay, now if you're good with this, we can run the action. I'm using Photoshop uh, 2017, CC 2017, so I'll be using the second action. Just select this one and click the play button it will take some time for the action to finish okay so the action has finished rendering and here is our final result 
if we go into the details of what is generated over here i'll quickly run this action on another image let's uh, take this one or we can take this one select the action and hit play So this action has also finished rendering. I'll come into this uh, layers afterwards. So this is what the final image looks like. We have this thick oil paint texture. Okay, now let's see what we have got. The first one is the BG elements. Here we have the background canvas texture. And we have a canvas color. We can change this color to affect the canvas texture color. I'll keep it to something whitish. We have a background canvas brightness and contrast. We can change the brightness contrast to affect the canvas textures. Now these are the main image elements and these are the image toning. So inside image elements we have edged shadow and some stray strokes. We have brush strokes. This creates the main thick oil paint in pesto texture. Better uh, we keep it as it is. Next we have these shadow elements which creates a more blackish creates these shadows more prominent and we have droplets or some another droplet layer we have scratches it's like the paint peeled off that kind of scratched effect yeah so we can show this this is the main image aged which has uh, the edge kind of uh, smudged off on the canvas like a rough drawing we also have the main image complete we can simply show this one and have the complete image without those smudged off effect Now what you can do is, if you want to keep this effect and you think it's smudged off some unnecessary areas, you can always select this layer mask, take one of these brushes which came with the download package, I'll take this one, select the color white and paint on the layer mask to reveal some of the areas which you think has been smudged off unnecessarily. Okay, now the stray strokes. You can also paint on the layer mask of the stray strokes with black if you think you want to hide some parts of this random ink smudges. Now we can also change the opacity of the shadows layer. You can increase the opacity to create a more darker tone on the black areas. You can lower the opacity and reveal the thick brush strokes on the thick paint texture on the black areas i prefer it keeping at an opacity of 80 percent you feel free to modify on your own next we have our droplets you can select the droplets you can take a move tool and you can move them around you can select free transform and you can also change about the size and all same goes for the droplet too now the scratches same goes for this one you can change the obesity or you can also move it around the scratches and you can also resize it by selecting the free transform and scaling or rotating 
so that's it for the image elements now into the image toning it's better it's kept as it is it's for the main image toning the brush bristle lines bristle strokes and few other adjust, adjustments now we're going to go into the 20 color effects it has got 20 predefined color presets you can simply show any one of them Now one more thing you can do is you can mix and match a few of these color effects like I'll take this one and select the layer mask and take a brush, I'll take a bigger brush and take color black and paint to reveal parts of the color of the main image. Now I'll select one more effect, let's take this one, take color Take the layer mask and again paint on it. Let's take another effect. Paint on the layer mask. Try to reduce the opacity of tone a bit. Okay, so you can experiment on your own and create your own unique color combinations. Here we have the overall adjustments. You can double click, this is the levels adjustments. You can double click on it to bring up the levels adjustment panel. You can adjust the levels. Same goes for brightness and contrast. Here we have the curves. Overall hue saturation. Overall gradient map. You can change the gradient map and create your own custom effect. We have a gradient feel. You can also change this one. And we have the overall color fill. Okay, so you can also use a few of my other actions, like in the examples I've shown, you can use Chrome Art or Splasher 2 action on a different image and create a uh, effect out of that action and use that final save that to a JPEG, JPG or a PNG or any other format and then use that effect and apply this impest oil paint action on top of that to create some unique customized look. So that's it for now. See you soon.